Paisley. How are you? I'm Fancy Nancy and come on in. I'm so happy to see all of you today at the Fancy Nancy Book Club. We are going to have so much fun. I can't wait to share with you my book friends that I have found that at the library. I was thinking about what kind of books to have on the show and I remembered that my Meadowlands friends gave me some ideas of other books they would like. And you know, as I was reading through them, I discovered that all of the books and characters they mentioned are in a series. Now, series is a fancy word. It can be a TV show that has lots of parts, like if you watch Sophia the First and she has several shows, well that's a series. Or if you watch Paw Patrol, and that's a series too. Now let's think about what a book series would be. A book series is when there is a character or group of characters and the author writes several books about them, like the Fancy Nancy books. That's a series that I know you like. Well, there are other characters that have series too. And the first one I want to share with you is a famous one, Pete the Cat. The first Pete the Cat book was on the best seller list. That is a big award for an author and I'll be telling you more about the author of Pete the Cat in just a few minutes. But I know as I visit schools I see a lot of Pete the Cat. This book is called Pete the Cat Rocking in My School Shoes and at several places in this book you will see Pete with his guitar. He is really rocking out. Now, his author is Eric Lit Litwin, and sometimes we call him Mr. Eric because that's what he likes. And his creator and illustrator is James Dean. Now, in this book, Pete the Cat is getting ready to go to school. Maybe you got new school shoes or will be getting new school shoes because our feet grow over the summer, it seems. Well, Pete is all ready because he's got those cool school shoes. Here he is waiting for his bus. I love this picture because the name of the bus is Cat City because Pete goes to Cat City Schools. And instead of children on the bus, you see lots of cats, our feline friends. Feline is a fancy word for cat. Now while Pete is waiting, he's playing a tune and he sings this tune over and over in the book. And he says, I'm rocking in my school shoes. I'm rocking in my school shoes. And then if he does a different activity, he substitutes the, the name of the activity for the word rocking. And then he makes a new verse to his song. I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Well, after Pete gets to school, he's going to that big room that has all the books on the walls, and we know what that is, the library or media center. Pete loves this room because Pete loves to read too. And at the Cat City Schools, many of the books are about cats. You can see that Pete's favorite book is the Wild West, and there's a cat cowboy riding a horse. That sounds like a fun adventure. And now instead of saying, I'm rocking in my school shoes, Pete sings, I'm reading in my school shoes. And then when it's time for lunch, you know what he says? I'm eating in my school shoes. And on and on it goes throughout the day. I must show you the picture of Pete at his table at lunch. His lunch just made me laugh. Here he is rocking out in the, muse, in the cafeteria and he has milk, of course. Cats like milk. He has some goldfish crackers. Isn't that just perfect for a cat? And look at his sandwich. It's a big old fish on the bread. It looks like he just caught it out of the lake. And that's his lunch. This book is so fun because 
on and on. He keeps singing about his school shoes and the things he's doing. Now, I found out when I read this back cover of the book, there are lots of interesting things that are sometimes here about the author and the illustrators. And I learned that Eric Litwin, or we call him Mr. Eric, he loves to play the guitar too. He loves to sing. He loves to tell stories. And he's even recorded some, some CDs that we can listen to. And the book tells us that if we will go to www, and there's an address that we can go to online, we can hear Mr. Eric sing, I'm rocking in my school shoes, and more songs too. So wouldn't that be fun to do? You can find the book, read it, and then hear Mr. Eric sing. And if you like Pete the Cat, remember he is part of a series. So check out the other books about this fun character. Another character that they told me to read about today is Pinkalicious. And she has several books too. I like how she's a fancy girl and she likes to dress up. She likes the colors pink and purple like I do. And look, she has a tiara on her head. She likes another thing that I like, reading. And her favorite author is the author that writes books for her school called Princess Plum. And here she is all with all the little girls lined up to meet the author of the Princess Plum series that she likes to read. She's so excited and it reminds me of the day that I got to go visit my friend Jane O'Connor and all the little girls wanted to meet the author of the Fancy Nancy books. Well, here she is. She's all set. She's got her book. She hopes the author will sign it for her. And when she gets up to the desk, she sees Mr. Sid Silver. She is shocked. She is wondering how can a man with a beard write stories about Princess Plum and her silvery adventures and her being a magic princess? How could a man with a beard and looking like him write about magical stuff? Well, she learns a really neat thing from Mr. Silver. She learns that when you're an author, you can write about many things if you just use your imagination. So if he imagines about magic and fancy things in castles, he can write about them. That is an inspiration to Pinkalicious. An inspiration is something you see or hear that makes you want to do things. And this inspiration for Pinkalicious makes her want to be an author. So she writes stories about dancing teacups and flowers in her bedroom and a, a pirate ship in her washer and dryer. What a good imagination she has. Sometimes imagination can get you in trouble if you are imagining at the wrong time. Some teachers call that daydreaming. And if we're daydreaming at school and we're not paying attention to the lesson, we could get in a little bit of trouble. Do you think Pinkalicious will? What will happen when she's imagining at school? Well, I can tell you it's something truly wonderful that's going to happen. She has a very understanding teacher, and it's going to be a lot of fun when you read the end of this story, and maybe you will be inspired to do the same thing in your classroom. Now remember, Pinkalicious is one of many books by this same author and about the little girl. There is a book called Purplelicious and Silverlicious, and I know you'll enjoy those too. So the next story we have 
is about a character that's been on Fancy Nancy Book Club a lot. Amelia Bedelia, I just love her. She's one of my favorite people to read about. This is a book about when she's grown up and working for the Rogers family. But you know, sometimes I show you Amelia Bedelia books where she's a little girl. So that's really neat because there are two series of Amelia Bedelia books, one when she's little and one when she's older. We know how Amelia Bedelia has trouble understanding what people mean. For instance, if you said, um, draw the curtains so the light won't come in, that means to pull the cord so they close, but Amelia Bedelia wouldn't understand that. She would really sit down and draw a picture of the curtains. I want to show you some funny things she does in this book. Mrs. Rogers has her getting ready for company and tells her she wants her to get a spot out of her pink dress. When Amelia Bedelia finds the pink dress, she sees that there are many spots on the dress and the, the chemical, the spray, won't work to take the spots away. So Amelia Bedelia takes the time to cut out every spot on the dress because Mrs. Rogers said, remove the spot. Oh dear Amelia Bedelia, I don't think that she meant to use scissors. After Amelia does that job, she reads the list and it says to make a jelly roll. Well, jelly roll is a kind of a cake that has jelly inside and it looks like it's rolled up. I guess Ma Amelia Bedelia never ate that before because Look how she makes a jelly roll. She gets the jar, takes the jelly out, and rolls it across the floor. What an icky, sticky mess that's going to be when company comes. And then the list says to string the beans. Now there's a type of bean called string beans. They're like green beans, and you take the string out of them so they won't be hard to chew. Do you think Amelia Bedelia knew how to do that? No. She took the beans and got a string and put a needle through them and made a nice decoration stringing the beans. I'm afraid she may be in trouble when Mrs. Rogers gets home. And I don't know what the company will think about the holes in the dress and the jelly on the floor and the beans hanging up in the kitchen. She might get fired. But whatever happens, we know she's going to be around because she has a series. And there are many more Amelia Bedelia books. I know you'll enjoy this character and thank you for the suggestion about her. We're going to take a little break from our book friends and we're going to hear from our friend at Tell Me a Story that come right back. I have more.